Guys, it's December 1st. Are we doing this? Are we doing Vlogmas? I guess so. I don't know if I'm gonna do every single day, but, cause I was like, what did I do last year? Last year, I think I did like two weeks. So I might do something similar. I don't know, because here I am on the first. But anyway, hello. I'm so excited to be busting out um, Christmassy mugs and Christmassy things. And it's December 1st. Yay. This was limited edition a few years ago. I feel like they come out with it here and there though. I don't know, but I'm sorry if you can't get it and you want it. But this white mo moss and snowdrop is like so Christmassy to me. So this will be my December 1st perfume. Also, those are my Christmas sheets. I need to make the bed. I really like to get to school early, so I'm almost always like one of the very first people here. And um, it's just nice and quiet. Just made some copies and a coffee. And I'm so happy it's Friday. And my kids were so awesome yesterday. And I really hope we can have another day like that. I'm gonna try to have a talking to them and be like, wasn't that so nice? Like, let's do that again. And hopefully it's not like a what goes up must come down kind of thing. My favorite thing to do. Oh, that's a cute one. Oh my gosh. Forgot I was vlogging, but I just got home from work Friday afternoon and I let myself leave pretty early. I'm excited for the weekend. <laughs> Candy Burris in the background. This is uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, but it's season seven. I started, I'd never watched any of Atlanta. <clears throat> I started it, was it in summertime? I like know everything to date about like, you know, fully watched Housewives of New York and Beverly Hills. And then like I've dabbled in other ones, but I had never done Atlanta. So I started it in the summer and it is everything but yeah, I'm still in like the older seasons. Oh, but I just wanted to provide an update. We're gonna do an Ulta haul. Ah, it's like an Ulta unboxing. I don't know. So let me sit you here. Um, let me also show you my Christmas tree. Christmas tree. I haven't finished putting up all my decor though. Whoops. I get so busy during the week, but that's important. And then I also have a second tree this year in that room. I don't think you can really see it, but I'll tell you later. During Black Friday, Ulta had a lot of, oh yay. I was like, oh, my water bottle's close by. Look at this sticker, my Swifties. Never be so clever, you forget to be kind. I love that song so much. Okay, they had a lot of things, like random products, whether it was like all of their, like whatever type of product would be on sale or certain brands. And so I got a lot of things. I actually placed two orders. I wonder if, ooh, I'm excited for this one. I just saw it's in this one and I remembered that I got this. Anyway, I wonder if this, if it's two boxes or one, but a lot of the things I got were like fun to buy in the sense that like, I just get excited about products, even if it's a repurchase. But a lot of the things I got were just kind of things I needed more of, like eye makeup remover or uh, I don't know, stuff where it's like, I just rebuy this stuff all the time, but maybe I like tried something different. But there were a few things where I let myself just kind of get like a couple little treats. And it looks like that's what's in this box. So we'll save those for the end. Again, I don't know if they put all my things in one box between my two orders. Okay, ooh, yes. I am excited to try this. This is from MAC. It is the Lash Dry Shampoo Mascara Refresher. So I'm a little confused on the product, but I mean, all the more reason why it'll be fun to try it. It, you apply it over the top of dried and set mascara says the last 
lash brush combs through lashes without tugging. I could try that like right now technically. But yeah, based on what I read, it is like a mascara in itself. I don't want to like open it yet, but oh, that packaging's fun. But you know, like actually just today when I got home, I like touched up my blush. You can touch up like almost anything. I mean, sometimes brows can be hard when you have like um, wax or certain gels in there that have really gotten them tight. But, oh, but like refreshing the lashes is always hard. Like putting more mascara on top of dried mascara is really hard. And so this product is specifically for that. So I'm excited to try that. I also picked up Benefit Roller Lash. It was on sale. It's a mascara that I have used and like. I really just like, it's like things like that. Like, no, I don't need another mascara right this second, but I like to snag mascaras when they're on sale because I know that I will go through these. And I think I only have one on backup that I'm like about to be needing and then this will be my next one, if that makes sense. Like, I don't mean to hoard, but like certain products you know you're gonna use, like eyebrow pencils or whatever it may be. Oh, okay, this, like, this is the Kiehl's Midnight, no, that's a different product. The Kiehl's Creamy, what am I saying? Creamy Avocado Eye Treatment, Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. Maybe they like changed the words, but it's basically like an eye cream. Um, this is the big size, 9.95 fluid ounces. This stuff is not cheap, but it was on sale like a good sale and so I was like it's not super fun to buy this but I do love Kiehl's I love this product I haven't used it for a little while not a, I don't know eye cream is tricky I'm always on the hunt for an eye cream recommendation so please let me know if you have one but I'm happy to have this back in my collection I'm currently using the origins uh whatever ginseng one like the brightening one but I actually don't think it's really doing that much it's almost like more of like makeup than an eye than skincare, but even still, it's not really even that much of a makeup item. So I really like this, and I'm happy to have that back. What's in here? This is so fun. I have not placed like a beauty order in a while. It feels like. I mean, I guess I did one over the summer, but that was like six months at this point. I don't know. Don't do the math. Let's not do the math. Yay, okay, so this is a product that I needed more of because I use this all the time. It's the Tree Hut Moisturizing Shave Oil. But I bought it in this candy cane flavor, which is like seasonal. And I mean, hopefully I'll be able to use this through December and January because I would feel like it would be weird to use this like if it wasn't in the winter time. It's a product I always use, but like a new flavor. So that's like fun. This, oh, I was excited to have this back. This is the Tan Lux, the Gradual Illuminating Tan Lotion. I have used this stuff before. I don't always repurchase it. I've been using like the Jergens one just because it's like drugstore <clears throat> and a lot cheaper, but this was like a really good deal. So I wanted to get this. It's just, you know, what it says, a gradual tanning lotion. It's extremely liquidy. It's, it's extremely runny and like thin, but it works really well and I really like it. It doesn't smell really bad. Like it's very streak friendly like user friendly like it, you know you don't have to be super precious about your application or super specific i really like it and then this is another product that i needed i think i use this as an example this is eye makeup remover it's a whole thing man i like I'm always down for like an eye makeup remover recommendation. This is some random L'Oreal one I found that was like good priced, a relatively cute bottle, which sounds lame, I know, but I do really like opening my medicine cabinet and like liking the aesthetic, you know what I'm saying? Let me see what the lid is like. Oh, okay, yay. So this is a good thing. Can you see that? It's like an open container. The reason I'm saying that's a good thing is because I want to be able to dip my Q-tip in there if I need to. The one I've been using right now, which is like an Essence one. And then even some of the higher end ones like Lancome or Clinique or no, Clinique actually is an open one, but whatever. I don't like it when it's just the, like where it's like, there's just a tiny little hole and you kind of have to squeeze it out because I want to be able to dip my tooth toothpick Q-tip in there. 
because sometimes I don't need to put it on like a, a pad, you know, like sometimes I just need a Q-tip and that's perfect. I think I remember seeing that in one of the pictures. It looked like it was going to be like that. So that's why I got it. So hopefully it's a good formula too. Okay. What is this little pepperoon? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is a fun haul. Okay, this is a product. This was another thing. I've been needing another like makeup remover, like, you know, in terms of like a cleansing oil or a balm. My favorite product I've ever used for that is by uh, Fourth Ray Beauty. It's like the ColourPop brand of skincare. And it's called BFD Cleansing Oil. Ulta used to carry it, but then they stopped carrying that product. They still carry the line, just not that product. And then I saw that on the Color ColourPop website. Like, first of all, I just, I don't know, it's harder. Like, ColourPop's an easy website to order off of, but I just don't go to websites directly. You know what I mean? It's like I'm so much more inclined to order off of, like, Ulta or Nordstrom or Target or Sephora, like, like kind of like the department store. I know those aren't all department stores, but like the overall hub of what carries these things versus going to like the Tan Lux website or the Tree Hut website. I could, but I just don't. Anyway, the ColourPop website and the Fourth Ray Beauty, they've been out of stock of the BFD. So I'm hoping it's not like going away because that stuff is amazing. But anyway, I heard, I think it was Coffee Break with Danny talking about this stuff, Vanilla, Manila Co, the Clean It Zero Makeup uh, 3-in-1 Cleansing Balm, original. So, I don't know. I've tried the Clinique Cleansing Balm. It's okay. I have tried, what was I using most recently? Oh, the Inky List, like, uh, the oat milk cleansing balm. It's okay. It's like pretty good. Um, I think I've tried pharmacy, never the full size, but I've tried like the samples. The point is, did you just fall? I, they're never, nothing has ever been as effective for me as that BFT stuff. So I hope that's cool. It comes with that. I hope that this, oh, that's a big boy will do the trick for me because I wanna be able to like cleanse and then wash my face and get out of the shower and not have extra mascara that I need to dip a Q-tip in for and then, but, or like at the, I want it to be like where I only maybe need to dip a Q-tip and just do a little do-do-do, like what's been happening with the stuff I've been using recently. I, I will like remove it and then wash and then get out and then I still basically need to douse myself in eye makeup remover. I'm giving you a lot of information, but I will let you know how this is. I am hopeful that it is good and that was on a great sale as well. This feels like it was everything that I ordered, but again, I don't, I don't remember. I just know I placed two orders within a few days of each other. Okay, this is from Lancome. This is a liquid eyeliner that I love. Well, I haven't used it in a long time. I hope I still love it because um, it's not cheap. I don't want to open it because it'll dry it out, but this is the art liner. It's like a felt tip liquid eyeliner, but in my experience, it's the best one. Just like the way you have this long handle and it's like, it's just so good. I have the Stila one right now, which is great. Um, I've used like some drugstore ones that are great, but I love this one. It's almost like, like, and it's Lancome, so it's like a little luxurious. And the fact that it was on sale, I was like, let me tr let me try that again. So I hope it holds up to what I remember. These are some press-on nails. I love me some press-on nails. They're in the medium length. There's like this glazed donut line. I wanted to get the green ones. It was like glazed mint, but they sold out. So this is glazed chocolate. So it's like a brownish taupe. Um, actually, I'm due to do my nails. My tip with these is you have to buy, you you can't just use the glue that's on here or that comes in these. You have to buy like extra glue. They have really good like intense glues on like Amazon and stuff. And I don't necessarily think they're great for your nails. They're not bad for your nails. They're just like intense glue. And then the glue is like caked on your nails until it comes off a few days later or like within washing your hands up for a few days. But then those will last for a long, long, long time. Okay, the last product before I show you the things I'm most excited for 
is this. It's Lano Lips. I cannot have enough lip balm. I am literally a person who needs, needs, I mean, I feel like I do, a lip balm wherever I am. So like, for example, I'm sitting right here. I'm on my floor right now, but I'm in my living room and literally right here in this drawer, there is a lip balm because I want them wherever I am. Like, I don't want to have to walk somewhere to get it. Like, I want it right now. So I have like... They're everywhere. They're in the kit. I have one in the kitchen. I have one, you know, like in each bathroom. I have one in my nightstand. I have one, like for real, they're everywhere. So never too much, never enough. You know what I'm saying? So this is the Lana Lips ointment, which is like, I don't know, like a multi purpose balm. And they have, yeah, it's like lanolin, vitamin E. And they have like a million different flavors. And I decided to try the apple flavor. And now, speaking of going on a brand's specific website, I actually did see this brand on Instagram, like ads on Instagram popping up all weekend long of Black Friday, saying how their whole website was 20% off. Great. A lot of companies do that on Black Friday and like around that time. On Ulta, this brand was 30% off. So it's like the sale was even better. Um, this is something I have had my eyes on before. These are candles and they are a blind buy in terms of the smell. So I hope they like hold up, but it's like the packaging, the aesthetic, like there's like multi, like there's multiple parts that have attracted me to it. So hopefully even if they don't smell amazing, I'll still be like, it was worth it to cure my intrigue and to get the discount and stuff. So we're talking about the vacation brand. Oh, I got a whiff of that. <laughs> and it was good. Um, so they have these candles. There's Hotel Lobby, Pool Boy. What's the other one? There's like three that are like this. And then there's this other one. But I've seen them on Instagram and stuff for like ever. And I have always wanted to try them. And I haven't smelled them in person or anything like that. So... I'm really excited. Okay, so let's do hotel lobby first. And I was gonna let myself, treat myself and buy some candles on the homesick candle website for Black Friday. But I realized that the discount wasn't as good and ultimately that's why I let myself buy all three of these instead of making some decisions. So high ceiling resort lobby. The marketing, like the branding on this vacation company is 10 out of 10. The scented candle, this is not like my type of scent normally, but that's okay. I mean, I think it'll be okay. Fresh cut flowers, trifold travel pamphlets, air conditioned ocean breeze, a souvenir from the vacation home resort. And I just love like the pictures all around, um, the little five star thing. It was the 24 hour continental breakfast for me. Like they're literally like raiding the hotel. This is so cute. Yeah, it's like this whole thing. High ceilings, high spirits, high gloss magazines. These are just a few of the all-inclusive luxuries invoked by the high ceiling resort lobby candle. With just one strike of a match, you'll find yourself centered in an open air abundance with welcoming scents of fresh cut flowers, trifold, trifold pamphlets, and the delicate swells of air-conditioned ocean breeze. Let's do it. This candle is a portable olfactory ode to the spacious chair-laden gateway between civilization and paradise like that description I want to feel like I am on vacation when I have these candles oh my gosh I love it aesthetically smell test absolutely wow obviously I don't know how this burns or how the throw is but like look it even has the little five star like it was the Continental breakfast for me. This is amazing. I love that. The smell is not as like florally as I was thinking. There is there is almost a little bit of like a tropical something in there. Maybe it's that ocean. That is beautiful and that is so aesthetic. Like to just have on my like, not right now during the Christmas season, but um, on my like little end table. Wow, I wanna go order everything on their website immediately. So far, so good. The next one, which one do I try next? The next one is like just their original vacation candle, which 
and then I have the pool boy candle, which these are the ones that have been catching my eye more, but then, and this one was a tiny bit more expensive, but the ratings were so good. I had to try it. So let's open this one next. Okay. The legendary vacation by vacation. So this is like that original smell. Uh, it's the vacation sunscreen approved by the vacation board of trade. Fragrance notes, pedigree essence, coconut water, coconut milk, bergamot, solar musk, banana, pineapple, pool water, swimsuit, lycra, and sea salt. I like all those things, but I feel like coconut and like banana and like certain things can be really hard to capture in a candle. So we'll see, but it's a double concentrated blend of the world famous vacation scent. But the ratings were good. So this is a normal size. So I got a whiff. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, I will admit that smells pretty similar to like a candle I've smelled at Bath and Body Works. However, it's good and it's cute and it's aesthetic. So yeah, see the size difference? I don't wanna get this one back out right now, but like this is like tall and thin. This is just like a regular, I don't know the ounces. Six ounce, six ounce candle. Oh, this package is so fun. Like, I hope you're enjoying this very wordy, lengthy segment of the vlog, uh, because I am. So I really hope you are. Okay, pool boy. Coconut sunscreen, that was the other reason. I was like, they both have coconut and sunscreen, but I couldn't, I couldn't pick, so we got both. Coconut sunscreen, fresh we, fresh we, freshly clean swimming suit, resort, towel, and desire. I think he's doing, I just think he's doing a really good job. Five star, because it's the pool boy rating. Tall, handsome, and asked for by name. The world famous vacation brand, Pool Boy Candle, is a strictly platonic olfactory affair of tropical romance, unchecked fantasy, and over-attentive summer employment. Simply bring wick to flame and within seconds be transported into a technicolor poolside daydream, teeming with freshly served Mai Tais, Chase side witty banter and lingering thoughts of what if. Featuring notes of sunscreen, recently de-leafed swimming pool and a dash of hand-me-down cologne. This candle is a perfectly harmless pillar of paradise worthy of your most robust gratuity. Honestly, this is worth it just for like those descriptions. I love a theme and they are nailing it. I hope this one is really good. Like the yellow, like so cute. Ha! This is the cutest candle ever. Yeah, that's good. It does smell pretty similar to this. Oh wait, the smell doesn't really come through that well. Yeah, they're very similar. So there's that. You probably don't need both. Pretty sure these are like the exact same, but Maybe not the exact same, but similar. I would probably have gotten just this one and maybe not gotten this one, but hey, it's still really cute and like I, it'll probably burn well, hopefully. And that is a cute little package. I just love these tall pillar ones. I immediately want to go order the other, what is the other one called? Then they have like a tennis court one, but I, that was only on the website, not on Ulta's site. But there's a third one that's like this. Lobby, pool boy, I can't remember. But um, what a fun haul, you guys. I hope you liked that, because I sure did. The plan for the rest of the night is as follows. I am going to go over to J-A-K-E apostrophe S. Don't wanna say it yet in front of the baby here. And I'm gonna drop my stuff off, including cannoli. And then I'm gonna actually go, I'm gonna muster up the strength, hopefully, to go to Bath and Body Works because it's, Candle Day is always the first Saturday of December, which is tomorrow, but they're doing it like all weekend long this year. And I don't know, so I wanna go. Even if I don't, like even if some of the like whatever ones are sold out or like, I don't know what the vibe is. I know that when I worked at Bath and Body Works, it was like crazy. We would open at like 6 a.m. and people would get there at like 5 a.m. and but like I don't know I feel like I could go in there right now and even if I'm getting kind of like the picked over sense to me it's still just kind of worth it to have like 
I don't know, five, six, I don't know how many I'll buy, candles, maybe more, maybe less, that are just scents that I know I like. Cause I know their candles pretty well, so I can just like pick ones and then have them just to have and or have them to give as gifts, stuff like that. So I wanna go check it out. And then we're gonna go back over, I'm gonna go back over to his place and I think we're gonna get some delicious yummy local takeout called Chino Bandito, which fun fact was a place on diners, drive-ins and dives, but it, the, the original location and even now, it's like right up the street from like where I grew up and stuff. It's like a very local, local place. And then apparently there's a Suns game, so we'll be watching that, but I might be like, I don't know. Honestly, I'll be trying just to stay awake probably because Fridays are always so tiring. I'm so tired on Friday. I hate being tired. Don't get me started. I wish so badly that humans didn't have to sleep. Like I have this whole thing. I wish, I wish it was a choice, not a need. Anyway. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love. And it feels nice. It's like the glass is like frosted. All right, let's go complete these evening plans. I'll see you soon. All right, y'all, we have arrived to this busy parking lot and there's a line outside the store. Um, I probably should have come right after school instead of now that all the folk folks are like out and free and roaming but it's okay hopefully it'll go fast <laughs> I had a number in mind of how many I was gonna get and um, I'll let you guess if I stuck to that number or not. Let me also preface this by saying today was payday. So I was extra like, mm -hmm. um, and then my best friend Bethany messaged, DM'd me. She saw, I posted an Instagram story. She was like, that's today? Will you just pick me two candles and I'll Venmo you? I'm like, sure. So this bag is real heavy, but I'm headed back. I'm late for dinner. Mm. Just kill me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I've never seen this part and I'm unwell. <laughs> it's so cute. Um yeah, respectfully, you guys aren't great at that. <laughs> Handwriting. It's the same count they go to the she goes to the place with and stuff. That dinner was so good. I hadn't eaten since like ten 40, which is when our lunch time is. And now it's, I don't know, I don't even know. We ate at like 7.30 maybe, 7.15. So I don't know why I'm out of breath. I'm in a um, shower and then we're gonna watch the Suns game. And I might try to read my book cause I'm trying really hard to finish The Ballad of Songbird and Snakes cause I wanna go see the freaking movie. So I might try to read while the game's on. We'll see how that goes, I don't know. Hair up, jewelry off, makeup off, blue combs, <laughs> tea. Let's go watch the Suns game. Oh, I wish it said it on both sides. Hold on. <laughs> this is Jake's favorite joke that people make about his name. Because yes, this is the Jake from State Farm's mug. Um, having coffee, what time is it? 8.20? I don't know if that's a bad idea, but I feel like I'm low-key immune to coffee. Not immune, but like not that affected by caffeine. Also, don't my eyebrows look um, pretty thick and dark and fluffy? Yeah. I think it's because of the eyebrow serum I've been using. Because this is no makeup and my eyebrows feel like pretty dark and like bold. Bushy even, if you will. Sun's lost. But it was a really intense game, and now I should go to bed because I'm so tired. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Oh, and I'll show you the candles tomorrow. Love you.